mounting a laser on a sawmill. Well, you probably ask yourself, why in the world would you want to do that? Well, it's really nice to see where you're going to cut. So, with my mill, I've got to elevate it 30 inches. But even then, I've got to bend down just to make sure I'm not going to hit anything, make sure I get the cut that I want. But with the laser, like you already saw, you see where exactly where you're going to cut. So come with me. I'll show you how I got it mounted. So I'm installing a little laser here on the sawmill. As you can see, it will tell you where you're going to cut. I still got some fine adjustments to do, but look at that. That is pretty close. So basically what I did was I took my magnetic level right there and stuck it on the sawmill and leveled it with the blade. So when I leveled it with the blade, I was able to put me a pencil mark going across here. That helped me line it up this way. And something else I did, which was probably the most helpful part, was I made a cut. And then I came back and I didn't really adjust the sawmill up or down. So I'm going to put the laser on it. I know that's where the blade is. And now it's got to line the laser up with that. So I got it stuck on here with a magnet. And that's not going to stay forever. So, got some hardware, got a little tap and die set. And let me show you this laser real quick. So I'm going to attach it to the door. This is the best spot that worked for me. So it came with this little guy, little on and off switch. It took uh, two triple A's and then a pigtail to attach these two. And I got these soldered and just kind of taped together. But the pigtail did not come with it, but I had a bunch of them because I use those for my trail cameras. That fitted. So I got my hole drilled. That is the center part of the bracket. Now I'm just going to take this quarter 20 tap. And you're basically making your own thread. But the important part is you want to get this in straight. So let me put this down. I'll get it started and I'll come back. So I got her pretty much in so there's some flutes right there in the tap as you do as you go through it your shavings are gonna come out there All right, that's probably pretty good it's a slight angle upward but that's not a huge deal let's test her out use our boat just a regular quarter 20 like a glove let's get this mounted all right got the bolt in let's show you the inside here just put a nut and washer on the back side now even though that bolt is pretty tight this song has a lot of vibration so i'm going to use some of the other slots and put two more in there that's those guys and they're a lot smaller so i'm not going to tap them i'm just going to screw it in basically the reason i'm not going to tap them because i don't have a tap that fits i got about everything in between but nothing for those whatever they are i have no idea so once i get those on i'll come back and show you all right Got all the boats in. Now what I'll probably do is come back and put Loctite on all of these after the fact because these need Loctite. A little set screw here. You probably, probably can't even see it. Needs a Loctite, et cetera, et cetera. But it's kind of getting dark around here so we could probably be able to see this pretty damn well. Yep. And the good thing is that this is like really cheap metal. And if it ever gets bumped, I just bend her back in place. 
All right, so that's mounting the laser. Oh yeah, and I gotta do something about that.